God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. O that true and all that noble, think on these things. O that pure and all that humble, think on these things. O that gracious, O that holy, O that honest, O that lovely, O that just and O that worthy, think on these things. O the word of God has taught you, think on these things. O the grace of God has brought you, think on these things. Every excellence and merit, all the good that we inherit, Love and mercy, let us share it. Think on these things. What you've seen and learned and pondered, think on these things. Prayer, petition, thanks and wonder, think on these things. May the God of peace be with you, bless you, heal you, and forgive you. Every grace shall follow with you. Think Think on these things. Lord our God, in splendor and majesty you are clothed, wrapped in light as in a robe. Alleluia. Bless the Lord, my soul. Lord God, how great you are, clothed in majesty and glory, wrapped in light as in a robe. You stretch out the heavens like a tent. Above the rains you build your dwelling. You make the clouds your chariot. You walk on the wings of the wind. You make the winds your messengers and flashing fire your servants. You founded the earth on its base to stand firm from age to age. You wrapped it with the ocean like a cloak. The waters stood higher than the mountains. At your threat they took to flight. At the voice of your thunder they fled. They rose over the mountains and flowed down to the place which you had appointed. You set limits they might not pass, lest they return to cover the earth. You make springs gush forth in the valleys. They flow in between the hills. They give drink to all the beasts of the field. The wild asses quench their thirst. On their banks dwell the birds of heaven. From the branches they sing their song. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord our God, in splendor and majesty you are clothed, wrapped in light as in a robe. Alleluia. The Lord has brought forth bread from the earth, and wine to give warmth to men's hearts. Alleluia. From your dwelling you water the hills. Earth drinks its fill of your gift. You make the grass grow for the cattle and the plants to serve man's needs. That he may bring forth bread from the earth and wine to cheer man's heart, oil to make him glad, and bread to strengthen man's heart. The trees of the Lord drink their fill the cedars he planted on Lebanon. There the birds build their nests. On the treetop the stork has her home. The goats find a home on the mountains, and rabbits hide in the rocks. 
You made the moon to mark the months. The sun knows the time for its setting. When you spread the darkness, it is night, and all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The young lions roar for their prey and ask their food from God. At the rising of the sun they steal away and go to rest in their dens. Man goes forth to his work to labor till evening falls. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord has brought forth bread from the earth and wine to give warmth to men's hearts. Alleluia. The Lord looked upon all he had made and saw that it was very good. Alleluia. How many are your works, O Lord! In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your riches. There is the sea, vast and wide, with its moving swarms past counting. Living things, great and small, the ships are moving there, and the monsters you made to play with. All of these look to you, to give them their food in due season. You give it, they gather it up. You open your hand, they have their fill. You hide your face, they are dismayed. You take back your spirit, they die, returning to the dust from which they came. You send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord last forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. He looks on the earth and it trembles. The mountains send forth smoke at his touch. I will sing to the Lord all my life, make music to my God while I live. May my thoughts be pleasing to him. I find my joy in the Lord. Let sinners vanish from the earth, and the wicked exist no more. Bless the Lord my soul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord looked upon all he had made, and saw that it was very good. Alleluia. Blessed are your eyes, for they see God's works. And your ears, for they hear his word. From the beginning of the letter of the Apostle Paul to the Philippians. Paul and Timothy servants of Christ Jesus, to all the holy ones at Philippi, with their bishops and deacons in Christ Jesus. Grace and peace be yours from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God every time I think of you, which is constantly in every prayer I utter, rejoicing as I plead on your behalf at the way you have all continually helped promote the gospel from the very first day. I am sure of this much, that he who has begun the good work in you will carry it through to completion, right up to the day of Christ Jesus. It is only right that I should entertain such expectations in your regard, since I hold all of you dear, you who, to a man, are sharers of my gracious lot when I lie in prison or am summoned to defend the solid grounds on which the gospel rests. God himself can testify how much I long for each of you with the affection of Christ Jesus. My prayer is that your love may more and more abound, both in understanding and wealth of experience, so that with a clear conscience and blameless conduct you may learn to value the things that really matter up to the very day of Christ. It is my wish that you may be found rich in the harvest of justice which Jesus Christ has ripened in you, to the glory and praise of God. May your love grow ever deeper in knowledge and all discernment, so that, perceiving always what is best, 
You may act blamelessly and with a clear conscience. I am sure that the one who began this good work in you will continue to perfect it until the day of Christ Jesus. So that, perceiving always what is best, you may act blamelessly and with a clear conscience. From the beginning of a letter to the Philippians by St. Polycarp, Bishop and Martyr. From Polycarp and his fellow presbyters, to the Pilgrim Church of God at Philippi. May you have mercy and peace in abundance from Almighty God and Jesus Christ, our Savior. I rejoice with you greatly in the Lord Jesus Christ, because you have assumed the pattern of true love and have rightly helped on their way those who were in chains. Such chains are becoming to the faithful. They are the rich crown of the chosen ones of our Lord and God. I am glad, too, that your deep-rooted faith, proclaimed of old, still abides and continues to bear fruit in the life-giving power of our Lord Jesus Christ. He, for our sins, did not refuse to go down to death, and God raised him up after destroying the pains of hell. With a glorious joy that no words can express, you believe in Christ without seeing him. This is the joy in which many wish to share, knowing that it is by grace that you are saved and not by works. For so God has willed through Jesus Christ. So prepare yourselves for the struggle. Serve the Lord in fear and truth. Put aside empty talk and popular errors. Your faith must be in him who raised our Lord Jesus Christ from the dead and gave him a share in his own glory and a seat at his right hand. To him everything was made subject in heaven and on earth. All things obey him, who will come as judge of the living and the dead. All who refuse to believe in him must answer to God for the blood of his Son. He who raised him from the dead will raise us too, if we do his will and keep his commandments, loving what he loved, refraining from all wrongdoing, fraud, avarice, malice, and slander, we must abstain from false witness, not returning evil for evil, nor curse for curse, nor blow for blow, nor denunciation for denunciation. Always remember the words of the Lord who taught, Do not judge, and you will not be judged. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Be merciful, and you will find mercy. The amount you measure out to others will be the amount measured out to you. Blessed are the poor and those who suffer persecution for theirs is the kingdom of God. God has saved us and called us to a life of holiness, not because of anything we had done, but according to his own design and by his own grace. This grace was given to us in Christ Jesus before time began. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory because of your kindness and truth. This grace was given to us in Christ Jesus before time began. You are God, we praise you. You, you are, are the Lord, Lord we, acclaim we acclaim you. You, you are, are the, the Eternal Father, Father. All, all creation worships you. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, 
cherubim and seraphim sing in endless praise, Holy, 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 Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you, the noble fellowship of prophets praise you, the white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world the Holy Church acclaims you, Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all worship, and the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you did not spurn the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Keep us today, Lord, from all sin. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope in vain. Let us pray. Father, you show your almighty power in your mercy and forgiveness. Continue to fill us with your gifts of love. Help us to hurry toward the eternal life you promise and come to share in the joys of your kingdom. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. And give him thanks.